Hey, do you want to earn some money? Tell me a name with the letter G. Gus. Hey, I want to participate. Twenty dollars, you too. Tell me a name that begins with the letter G. Grace. Grace's name, you earn two dollars. Two dollars is fine. Want to play? Gaia. The name Gaia is three dollars. Great. For two beer, right? Hello. Do you want to do you want to participate too? Yes, sir. Look, a name beginning with the letter G. With the letter G. God. That's the jackpot. Look at a hundred dollars. Look. I For propose real? you something. If you tell me what you're going to spend this money on, I'll multiply it. Oh man, you don't know how much I need it. Take it and tell me what you are going to spend it on, and I will multiply it. I don't know if I should tell you. Why, man? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I do not know, sir, if I should tell you. Well, look, friend. I know you don't know me, but well, if you want. Here's a friend. Look, I'm sorry. I feel you a little sad. Is something wrong with you? Yes, sir. My wife had an accident. Oh, how awful! What happened to your wife, sir? Well, a gas tank exploded in the house, and she suffered a lot of burns. And I don't count myself because I was working here, sir. And the truth is that I really need the money. And well, look. Look, I want you to take this one hundred dollars. Take it, please, with all my heart. Now we are going to continue talking. I, as I told you, I will multiply it for you. But tell me, sir, how did it happen? How was it? Well, one day I think they left the valve of the tank open. Then, and then they came and turned it on, and the accident happened. And I was working here. And I got a call, and I had to leave quickly. But unfortunately, I didn't reach her. The ambulance arrived and had already taken her. And your wife is now in a serious condition. I still have not received a diagnosis. Well, she is in very bad shape. She suffered many burns. I am very sorry, sir. And how is she doing with the treatment and all that? Well, I've been begging from one place to another, asking for loans here at work, and well. And in some way or another, people are helping us, but we are having a hard time. We are having a really hard time. Well, look, sir, I'm doing a social experiment. This, I think, it is not a coincidence that we are here talking. How much do you have working here? Do you have a little or a lot? Well, not long, about a year. Yes, man. But now, I'm struggling. How long has your wife been hospitalized? For a month now. So the bill keeps going up, right? And I can't, I can't take her out because she is very bad. The doctor still can't give her a diagnosis. They only tell her that she is serious. He only tells me that it is serious and that it requires several surgeries, that are very expensive and that I really cannot afford. So then, that is the problem I have, and this little money. I have always thought that God is tight, but. No, look. I assure you that God is with us at all times. As I said, it is not a coincidence that we are here right now talking. But I would like to, well, I would like to talk to you a little bit more. As I said, this is a social experiment, and I told you if you told me what I was going to use that money for, I was going to multiply it. I was going to multiply it for you. I don't know if you are very busy or can give me a couple of minutes. Of course, I am about to leave. They are about to close here. It is time to leave, and then I also have to leave to look for my son who is here with me. He is here with me. He helps me to work. Ah,、uh, your son also helps you to work. How old is your son, sir? He is ten years old. Ten years old. Yes. Yes, and now your son is studying too, isn't he? He's not studying because of the same problem, sir. He lost this year, and is also another problem that we have, that I have with him. Look, what do you think?、Uh, I'll, I mean, if you allow me, I'll wait for you to come out, and we'll continue talking outside. How do you see?
Yes, sir. Well, I'll wait for you. Thank you very much. No, on the contrary. Are you ready, friend? Ready, sir. I just have to go pick up my son at the corner. Thank you. I've already come for you, my son. Hey, Dad, I sold some candy. Hey, son. You're so good at selling. You know, my son, thanks for helping me. To help your mommy get ahead. That's why I love you so much. Because you know I love your mother very much, right? And you're helping me to get her out. Thank you, son. I love you very much. Ready, my friend? Ready, sir. Come on, if you want, I'll buy you a soda. Thank you very much for... for having the confidence to... I mean, I know that nowadays it is difficult to trust people, but as I was saying, well... I am really doing a social experiment, and you saw that the boys got their part, and you got, thank God, well... the top prize. But tell me, my friend, as I told you, I want to help you, I want to reward you. But you were telling me that, unfortunately, right now, your wife is in a very difficult situation. Yes, sir. That's why I have to bring my son to work, because I don't have anyone to take care of him. And it is very difficult. Well, before all this... Before all this, it was a normal life, because he studied. Now he doesn't study, because I can't leave him. I have no one to take care of him, so I have to bring him. So it is very difficult. It is very difficult. Now the child is not studying? He is not studying. I had to take him out of school. An economic issue. Do you like school? Yes, I liked it very much. Did you? Yes. And how were you doing in school? Fine. Were you? I really liked doing homework and... Paying attention in class. And did you have little classmates there? Did you get along with your classmates? Yes. Did you? And what subject did you like the most? Mathematics. Math? Ah, that's good. That's why you're good at math. Good for numbers. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. No, I congratulate you, Mr. I really... Well, I know it's not a situation to be happy about, but it is definitely a great blessing that your son is now with. With you supporting him, despite the fact that at his young age, well, he had to be like that, but neither of us is to blame. Well, it's fate, isn't it? God only knows why That's right, things sir. happen. I also think that your being here is not by chance, sir. Always. I believe in the divine and... I believe that God gave you to me. That's right, I can assure you that... Tell me, where are you living right now? Do you live in your own house? Is it a rental house? Rental house. And how are you doing right now, my friend? For, in a matter of, of... Well, yes, the rent. It's like I was telling you. Debts here, doubts there, and... Here with my son. The little he makes also helps me with everything. And are you behind with the rent right now? Yes, sir. If we are, we owe five months. What the heck, man? Well, things are a bit complicated, aren't they? The situation. Yes, it is. And especially because of my wife. We don't even know when... We don't even know when this torment will end. Hey, but the doctors can't give you a diagnosis. Or they just tell you that the... Well, they told me it's delicate because I guess that... It is something delicate. And is your wife conscious or is she in a coma? She is conscious. But she's under sedation? That's how it is. That's how it is. I understand, my friend. Easy, sir, easy. Look, well... It's... I know you don't know me. I'm afraid of losing her, sir. No, don't worry. Look, I assure you that everything is going to be all right. I promise you I know that. As you say, I have faith in God, and, and everything is going to be all right. Don't worry. I know that right now you are lacking resources. But... Well, sometimes God sends opportunities and they are right in front of you. You just focus on the problems, on how to solve them, more than anything else. Yes, sir. But, you don't worry. Look, as I told you... Well, this social experiment thing... 
Well, that's basically what it is. That's why I was asking you to tell me that you were going to spend it, and I was going to multiply it. I have a surprise for you that you have earned, but this, I would like to talk to you later on. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, and I know that I also thank God for putting you on the road. At the worst time, or at the best time. Hey, and, and you have the child selling all day long, too. Yes, He's sir. He's coming along with you to the... He comes along with me. And here he waits for me until I get off work, and then I take him home. And how do they make food for him? Well, just the same. We bring a little lunch, and at lunchtime he also comes with me, and we eat there. And we eat there. Listen to the truth, my friend. Listening to you, I am very impressed by your story, and I know that you are going through a very, very difficult situation right now. Well, yes, sir. The truth is that it is my story. I am also afraid of how he is going to take it. It is a very difficult thing. Because the doctors tell me that it is going to have sequels on her face and, well, the truth is that I wouldn't even want to see her like that. Do not worry, sir. Look. The main and most important thing is that you see, you still have your wife. Yes, sir. That's the only thing that strengthens me, that I still have her with me, and that my son doesn't grow up without his mother. Look, that's what's important. I know that God sometimes puts difficult tests, but a while ago you were telling me that you were in need of some operations, right? Your wife. Yes, sir. They are this more than anything to reconstruct part of, part her, of skin, her skin, her of face. her face. You do not worry, friend. Look, I know that everything is going to work out. And you have to be strong because look, well, your son? Yes, sir. He's the only thing that will strengthen me. I don't want him to be without his mother. No, no, no. Don't think about it. It's not going to happen. As I was telling you about the social experiment, it brings its own reward, and you can relax. That, that, at the end of the day, you will feel calmer, more relieved. I would like you to accompany me, to give you a surprise, if you allow me, please. Yes, sir. Look, it's part of the experiment. As I told you, I was going to multiply that money for you. I would like you to accompany me today, please. Thank you, sir. Thank you, because really... Thank you, and on behalf of my wife and my son, I thank you. Don't worry, sir. Come on, let's go to, to, give you, to give you the reward. And well, my friend, thank you very much again. Well, for having confidence in me, as I was telling you, this social experiment, well, it has its rewards. And look, I would like to... These, these tools... Well, now we put them in a bag for you. Thank you, sir. Well, I thank you for your intentions, but as I repeat, my son is not... My son is not going to school. These things... He will not use these things. No, look, don't worry, don't worry. You relax, because as I told you, the experiment brings a reward, yes? This is part of the reward. You take it easy. You calm down, and now you will see. You don't despair me. Please, now take this. We're going to put more in it, but you take it easy. Thank you very much again, Nasir. Don't worry, nothing to thank. I told you at the beginning, this social experiment brings its own reward, what you were telling me about, that the school supplies, which right now are not, that he will not use them. Well, I have a surprise for you today. Well, again, I want to thank you for the supplies. I know that I am not using them right now. I also believe in God that at some point it will be used. 
This is part of the reward of the social experiment. I'd like you to take this money, please. Senior, it's enough with the help you gave us. No, man, please take it, please, from the bottom of my heart. Remember that I told you that I was going to multiply what you were bringing in? Yes, sir, you told me. Take it, please, senior. Okay, senior. Thanks. Don't worry. I really want to get my family ahead, sir. I don't know how to pay you, sir. Don't be mortified about it. I'm just asking God to give you license and give you life so that you can continue to help people. In my situation, sir? I thank you from the bottom of my heart. But what do you think, my friend? It doesn't stop there. I think this is going to help you a lot. Look, I want you to take this. This, this is a check for $30,000 for an educational scholarship for your son. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, my God. Thank you, sir. I can't pay for all of this. Don't worry, sir. Look, you don't have to. No one's charging you. You don't have to pay for it. Thank you very much. My friend, you're going to be able to go to school. Are you happy? Yes, you're already going to work hard at mathematics there? Yeah? Now you're not going to be mortified. Look, you're going to be able to go to school. You don't have to worry about anything. Don't worry. I want to thank you, my God. You've never given up on me, sir. I'll tell you one thing, buddy. Don't worry about your wife's expenses, either. We'll take care of her recovery and the surgery she needs. Jesus, sir. Thank you, sir, and thank God. Don't worry. Let's give it all we've got, huh? Yes, son? Yes, give it all you've got. Son, thank you, gentlemen, and thank God. That's why I tell you that we must always trust in God, because God can do anything. God can do it, God can do it. God can do anything. For him, there are no impossible things, my son. You have to understand that my son, only the only salvation is given by God, my son. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.